Drake, nigga, you're cooked. Mm. If you really set this whole thing up, why didn't you drop this track after Meet the Grand? Yeah, I thought that and was another weird. thing. If I didn't want to be portrayed as a P3DO, because I'm not a P3DO, why would you guys run with it? Why would you run for, run with it? That doesn't make any sense to me, my, my nigga. You're in shambles, my nigga. Like, that really just pissed me off. And another thing. An hour after you dropped that song, it only had 30K views. But why did it have 267,000 likes? And you said that Kendrick pays for his views. That sounds like you pay for likes, my nigga. And then to top it all off, which really pissed me the fuck off, why would you point out the fact that he was an quote-unquote SA victim? When it wasn't him, it was his fucking mother. That was a bitch-ass move, my nigga. I don't, I don't know what your sense of humor is and... Yeah, I don't think that you should make fun of people which have been molested. That is that is not the way to go. But Drake has been acting very weird. The slave comment was weird. And then also the comment about like you being molested and that's why you have this infatuation with pedestes. Drake is a pedesti. But my God. Canada and shit like that. But in America, we don't play mm. that shit about ch kids, my nigga. And to top this all off, we have all the evidence on you, Drake. You said you don't have an 11-year-old kid, 11-year-old daughter. But you're historically known for hiding your kids, my nigga. Did we not learn from... The thing is like this, right? Who do you believe, the liar or the person which has never lied to you? Who, who are you going to believe? Honestly, you're going to believe the guy which says... No, I, I, I know I lied about the other kid. I know I, I didn't tell you the truth before, but I'm telling the truth right now. It's like, well, you lied about all these things, right? Why, why not just continue lying? All in all, I would just like to say that every time someone came, came to Drake testing his fucking character, he has lost. Your fucking character is fucked up. Damn. Why would I come up with a plan to, to make myself be a P3DO. And why would I curate that for a week straight? Like, really think about that. Damn. I know this, wa this wasn't the only thing he quote-unquote came up with, but really think about this mm. for a second. If I knew I wasn't a P3DO, okay. and I didn't want to be, be portrayed as a P3DO, why would I run with the plan of being a P3DO. Wait, do you guys think that Drake is lying? Or do you think Kendrick is lying? Who do you think is a liar? Who do you think is a liar? When I first heard this new track by Drake, oh. my initial reaction was pure disgust. Pure disgust. And I did not hide that on my face. But since y'all want an insight... Man, people really hate Drake. They really dislike him. What did you do, Drake? What did you do, sir? Since you want a breakdown, here it is. Off jump, the caption he used on Instagram to announce this new track was basically him giving up. How are you gonna, how are you gonna say he has more songs coming? You sound defeated. And this is the same Drake who literally put together a music video for one of the diss tracks and you're telling me the best he could do for a cover image for this was a screenshot of a comment that's it. Do you know what should have been the cover image for this track? Screenshot of the text messages between mm. you and the mole that you used to plant these information. Because if that's what exactly. you really did, you should have led with that. In one line, you clown the source of information that Kendrick has, and then literally three lines later, in the same verse, you said that you plotted with them for the information. So are you calling the people you plotted with clowns? Are there two separate groups of people giving information? Like, you're Facts. contradicting yourself and it's hypocritical. Kendrick straight up called you a master manipulator and you responded by saying, yes, I did in fact lie. <laughs> Riddle me this. Why would you plant information that makes you look bad? And if you really did plant this uh. information, which I do not for a second believe that he did, then you are basically copping to the fact that you put an 11-year-old girl mm. in the line of fire. We had people digging up pictures of this young girl, put her face all across the internet just to prove a point, Drake. That's what to me, it seems like Drake is an imbecile. He doesn't seem that smart. Because honestly, why would you have other people writing your songs? I'd understand if like, you create the song and then you lay out somewhat of like, uh, 
a reference track, right? And then people can come in and, and kind of like evolve it. Yes, you can have help there, but like I would not have people writing my songs because it's it's personal. It's it's, it's my story. It's what I'm going through. It's almost like writing a book and you don't really write it. I don't know. I think you should have people which are assisting you, but not people which are writing for you. That's, I, I find that weird. You're telling me that Aubrey Graham, Drake, one of the pettiest rappers in the industry, mm. did not have a pre-recorded, pre-produced, ready to go track exposing the fact that he put these lies into Kendrick's ear. Mm. You want me to believe that? You're telling me someone who planned this intricate, long game thing with Kendrick jumped on Instagram stories within 10 minutes of Meet the Grams dropping to deny this 11 year old daughter, but you Facts. provided that information. What that IG story should have been was receipts. You don't have to look for police reports. You don't have to look for witnesses. Mm. You planted it. Take a screenshot of the text messages, or maybe you can't because you didn't. You have to give it to Drake. I hate the dude. I dislike him, but he did step into the ring and for that reason you have to give it up to drake because there are a lot of people which just talk nowadays yeah i'm gonna do them right you ain't doing shit nothing is gonna happen when you talk so yes people may make fun of him right now but i do think that drake is gonna bounce back he is because we need the demons out there in the world we just do that's just, that's just facts. And do I hate Drake? Yes, I do. Do I think he's a pedesti? Yes, I do. But then again, he's not caught. So there's nothing more that I can do than just use my platform to spread the word. If anyone needed further proof that Kendrick is winning this thing, you should have stepped foot in a high school today. I, up until today, taught at a very Drake-centric high school. Rich Baby Daddy is the most frequently requested song to put on my class playlist. Interesting. If I ask students what they're listening to in their headphones, Drake. The week after the leak was a nightmare. But today I walk in and I can feel that there has been a tectonic shift. The second I walked into the building, I could hear the buzz. I could kind of overhear the conversations. And I was like, oh my God, this is a Kendrick school now. <laughs> I pulled my classes on what they thought and they were ready to throw down for Kendrick. Damn. I had like one Drake defender in each class, if that. And honestly, I feel bad for those kids because they were getting screamed at. I had a kid walk into class, phone over his head, blasting BBL Drizzy. And then mm. he went up to his friends and got them to freestyle on it. Like, excuse me, this was a Drake high school. I have students who hate reading, who are doing the most meticulous, close reading of these lyrics that I have ever seen. They're finding subtle quadruple entendres and like explaining them eloquently to their peers. This is wow. a cultural moment. And it's so amazing to see that we're actually getting something back. We're gaining some form of dominance when it comes to social media, because before it has always been that they're controlling the narratives, they're shifting, they're shifting the algorithms. But now it's practically impossible because if we don't move, culture doesn't move. So this is huge. Kendrick Lamar just removed all the copyrights wow. from all the diss tracks that he dropped. This is crazy. Kendrick removed all copyrights away from all the my reaction videos to this tracks and it's letting me get paid for all of them. No very good has ever done that for me, so I'm thankful. That is, that is amazing, Kendrick. It's great that you're thinking of the content creators as well and you're not just thinking of yourself. And this is why I love Kendrick. If you compare him to Drake, he's just the better person. Never in my life have I seen civilians mm. recruited to a rat beef. Y'all, <laughs> now I've said this before, I'm not no rap connoisseur. I don't know everything that there is to know about hip hop. I haven't heard every hip hop song, but I've been listening to the beef with Drake and Kendrick and what Metro just did. Well, first of all, what Kendrick did was historic mm. when it comes to rap beef. That's crazy in itself. Metro Boomin is giving the best verse a free beat. Go. Oh this is what happened when Metro make drums. He got all these holy ghosts, but ain't much of a father, though he got a son. I bet he gets spooked when niggas say, but nigga, but okay. no stake in the game. But hey, for a Metro beat, I can make a diss. I ain't idolizing rappers anyways. If they hit a side dog, mm. he did that piece. Mm. CCB, nigga. I ain't got sides to the beat, nigga. But how you gonna say that kid got hit 
in this girl, then shall see B, nigga. These entertainers hypocritical pain to switch up their physical tendency. Veggies and minerals, but they be calling us as brag about the whip and need to fertilize it. If this cave dot J Cole, juicy man, none of them need to be idolized. We all got flaws. That is fire. I just hate the painting the the nails. I don't like that, but it's fire. That was fire. play outside no why last time you got in a stranger's van he had a Reese's cup so what so what you know I love peanut butter you can play in your room but I want to play outside if I let you go outside and a stranger pulls up will you promise me you won't get in his van in this scenario does the stranger have a Reese's cup yes then I'm getting in the van. you're staying inside <laughs> please I want to roller skate no I can't trust you fine I won't get in the van did you hear about our basketball game no what happened we lost again I'm sorry I'm we lost to a Christian homeschool okay well all because they cheated beat. they cheated <laughs> yes they cheated how did they cheat they had Jesus on their team okay so I can guard Joey all day, but you know who I can't guard? Okay, I think the you Lord. need. Okay, at this point, you're... every time a player got hurt, he was fine the next play. Well, that's a uh, good thing. I think Jesus was healing them. Do you understand mm. how he was hiding under the bleachers, just laying his hands on them so they would be fine? You really need to. Their look. cheerleaders over there, like, we got school spirit. I'm like, yeah, you also have the Holy Spirit. They had mm. over there praying, the Lord is my shepherd. Yeah, he's also your shooting guard. So you I, seem don't, really... I don't know what they were praying for. Listen to <laughs> I'm assuming points because they scored 84 of them. You're making excuses. And then Joey was all like, we beat you. I'm like, you ain't beat us. Well, you know, kids. He beat us. Actually, they you know, did. Jesus may love all the little children of the world, Derek, but he also me. loves the hoop. You guys lost he's because good. you're ridiculous. Real good. Listen, to God me. might have created the heavens and the earth on day one, but on day two, he shot some foul shots. I promise you that. Oh. You can't be a sore Chad man. said he heard the coach say after the game, I want to thank God. So that right there tells you that they were planning something sneaky with him. True. Hey, Drake, so you have a doppelganger that we don't know about because who was Millie Bobby Brown talking about? In the clip I'm about to play, it clearly sounds like she's talking about you. I met Drake in an Australian hotel. He was such a fanboy and I was such a fangirl mm -mm 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 that we, mm -mm -mm -mm. and honestly, we text all the time now. He helps me with everything, like just oh life lessons. Oh my God, Drake, don't be texting 14 year old girls. Uh, that's not, that's not the way to go, sir. <laughs> Um, he's amazing. He's a great human being and we went to dinner afterwards and we had dinner the next day and then we met in Sydney. We just texted each other. Wait, wait, wait. You, you were having dinner with a 14 year old Drake? Ooh, that, that makes you look really bad, sir. The other day, and he was like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss you more. He's coming to Atlanta, so I'm definitely going to go and see him. I'm so excited, yeah. You and Drake? That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you and Drake? That's awesome. That's amazing. You and a 40-year-old man? That's amazing. I love that. Oh, my God. I didn't even think of that. That's crazy. Oh, my God. I'm getting paid for this. Paid, paid, paid. <laughs> what advice does he give you? Like, what does he say? Oh uh, my about god. About boys, he helps me. What? Yeah, 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 he's great. He's wonderful, I love What's him. What's his advice with boys? You know, that stays in the text messages. <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown is so sweet. She gave up a lot of information in those two clips about you. Y'all be texting and meeting up? Don't ever commit a crime with Millie Bobby Brown. Imagine if she's saying this to the police. Yeah, me and Drake, we hang out all the time. Be like, Ugh, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Get up! Get up! Today, May 6th, is the most embarrassing day ever to be a Drake stan. Normally, I talk about movies, but media literacy might just be dead no matter the medium, and Drake is the number one offender today. Last night, Drake responded with the heart part six. Now, Kendrick has really been focusing on why Drake is constantly linked with underage girls. It's been Millie Bobby Brown, it's been Billie Eilish, it's been many, many others. If you look into this, there's a lot of smoke there. And when you look into it, it starts looking a lot like grooming. Drake decided to respond by saying, you are accusing me of this because you were essayed. 
even if that were true, very, very fucking strange and questionable move, especially in 2024. But see, the problem is Drake and his ghostwriters may not be able to read or they may also not have ears. What they reference is this track, Mother Eye Sober from Kendrick's 2022 album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. This is one of Kendrick's rawest and most personal tracks ever. This is a man opening up and bearing his soul as Kendrick often does. This is a great example of toxic masculinity at its worst from Drake taking a shot at him over this song. The problem is this is a song about Kendrick's mother being assaulted, Kendrick's mother dealing with violence, and then Kendrick's cousin being accused of essaying him and him saying no, that never happened, and his family not believing him because of the history. It's a song about a five-year-old not being able to process his parent being abused. It's a song about generational trauma and guilt, how we don't deal with those things. It's a song about abusers in communities and the number of men that dealt with that shit at a young age and never ever processed it or actually moved mm. on and then put on these big macho personas as adults. This is a track that has more depth than anything Drake has ever done in his entire career and True. Drake managed to miss fucking read this to say some bullshit. But it didn't do it for me. Number one, you made fun of somebody being molested. That's very, very strange. And that's a weird take to have on any situation dealing with assault. Number two, you said that you basically set Kendrick up with the T about your daughter or the alleged daughter and all this other stuff, which doesn't make sense because... If you set him up, why did you then go on Instagram and say, hey, can somebody help me find my 11-year-old daughter? Like, it, that looks as if you wasn't prepared for it. So, I'm I'm not really buying that whole I leaked information thing. It's not fun anymore. Like, I really, I thought it was going to be fun. Like, but now you're spitting lies on me. But actually, I fed you those lies. I I don't know why people are taking this seriously. Like, I, I, I kind of let you in, man. But, like, I'm rolling my eyes right now. You can't hear because it's audio. But, like, fight for my life. Y'all killing me with this I can't have 30 years of my career. Robert. 30 years of my career. Y'all trying to kill me. You killing me, man. I don't know why we must film these moments. Why? We have this fascination in our culture of just destroying people. Like, yes, R. Kelly, 100%, I understand, but why should we film it? Like, why not just, like, take him away? Then it's, then it's over. We have to have this very dramatic moment where we're filming everything and we're like, okay, so what did you do? Tell me more. And, and how did you do it? Okay, let me just get the right angle. I'm like... What? I would, I would be super pissed off if I'm going through it and then people are trying to film me. Like, what? But it's this fascination where you're like, hey, Kanye, are you a stupid, dumb idiot? And then, <laughs> and then you're filming. It's like such a weird thing that we have in our culture. And oh, I feel so uncomfortable. Yes, because I'm, I get it. He's a horrible person. Yes, 100%. But at least give him the grace to go to prison without humiliating himself. I don't know. I just, I, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of, I'm, I'm not a fan of it, if I'm being honest. Drake put out the hard part six. Here are my first couple of thoughts. I like that he just put the song out. No social media antics. He said, this is it. Here you go. But for me, unfortunately, it fell flat. Starting off, Drake drops a huge bomb. He says, Kendrick, all the information you have is false. I planted a mole and I knew you would fall for it. Now, if this is true, it's over. Drake wins. It doesn't matter how good Not Like Us is. It doesn't matter how good Meet the Grams is. He got one over on Kendrick. It's over. But I'm not inclined to believe it. If Drake really planned this out, master plan, right? He thought it all through. Why wouldn't you prove it on this track? Yeah. If you prove it, bro, it is over. And it's extremely easy to prove because you planted the evidence. True. If you really planted the evidence, it means you have receipts. The fact that he's not showing any receipts is unlike Drake. If he really had receipts, he would have taken the Yeah, but... The reason why is because he doesn't have any receipts. But uh, yeah, that's why I want to leave this video. Um, Kenrick won. Is Drake done? No, because I was watching the Balenciaga situation and this is identical to it, right? And people still support Balenciaga. 
famous people still support Balenciaga. I mean, I was watching uh, the fat guy, what's his name? Rick Ross. He was like, oh, we don't, we're not behind kid diddling. We don't like that. But I'm like, how come you have the Balenciaga on you if you're not behind? Like, if he's just contradicting himself, because I'm like, if you're not behind it, then you're not behind it. You're not behind corporations which are associated with kid diddling. You're just not. But those are just my thoughts, guys. Like, comment, and share if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.